Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, earlier this week, Microsoft rolled out quite a big update to the Dev Channel Insiders with update KB5058488, which pushes the build up to 26,200.5603. And in effect, the Dev Channel is where Microsoft now is testing Windows 11 25H2, which will be this year's annual feature update rolling out in the latter half of this year. Now, just to have a look at what's new, and there's quite a lot going on with some interesting new developments taking place. Now, first of all, looking at features gradually being rolled out. The first is new AI actions in the File Explorer. So the right-click context menu is going to be even getting more cluttered and even longer so as you can see things are looking pretty packed in in the windows 11 right click context menu no longer minimal and compact like it was when it first rolled out but nonetheless new ai actions in file explorer so as mentioned you right click ai actions and microsoft says like click to do ai actions in file explorer allow you to stay in your flow while leveraging AI to take advantage of editing tools in apps or copilot functionality without having to open your file. So AI Actions in File Explorer are easily accessible. And to try out AI Actions in File Explorer, Microsoft says you just right click, as I've mentioned, on a file. And you'll see the four different available options for that AI Actions. Now just to go through these, first of all, we've got Bing Visual Search allows you to search the web using an image instead of text blur background with photos opens the photos app which automatically finds the background in the photo and then with a click it highlights your subject and blurs out the background erase object with photos is the third option so by selecting or highlighting an unwanted element in your photo you can use generative erase to make it disappear as you may well know and then remove background with paint it allows you to alter any image automatically, leaving a smooth cutout of the subject. And Microsoft says that these four image actions currently support these file types, .jpg, .jpeg, and .png. And then Microsoft says if we move on to the next image provided, that over the course of the coming weeks, Microsoft says that it will begin to roll out new AI actions for Microsoft 365 files. So what we're looking at here is summarize with Copilot. So with Copilot, you can generate summaries of various document types stored on OneDrive and SharePoint without the need to open them individually. And Microsoft says you'll also be able to create an FAQ where Copilot will be able to help you turn your OneDrive files into a neatly formatted AI-generated question and answer list. But there are a couple of things just to take note of that Microsoft does mention with this feature. You must be a Microsoft 365 subscriber with a Copilot subscription to get the Summarize feature. And for Create an FAQ, you need to be a commercial Microsoft 365 subscriber with a Copilot subscription. Consumer support with a Microsoft account is coming later according to Microsoft, so just take note of those. And then moving on to the next one, advanced settings. Now Microsoft mentions that advanced settings are now available via settings system advanced. And as I have mentioned previously, the advanced page is a redesign of the for developers page, which Microsoft says intends to make its settings easier to find for a broader audience. Now, with the redesign of this page, Microsoft says it's added additional settings which are enable long paths, virtual workspaces, and File Explorer plus version control, which is here at the bottom. So quite a lot of focus on advanced settings um, taking place from Microsoft and by Microsoft. Now, those are the new features, but just to have a look at some changes and improvements that are also being gradually rolled out to the Dev Channel Insiders. In addition to the new grouping of the accessibility flyout in quick settings, Microsoft says it's adding text descriptions 
for the assistive technologies like Narrator. So you can see your built-in screen reader for Magnifier, see words and images better. For easy identification and learning by the users. And I'm always in favor of accessibility features. And I think that that little description is a nice touch. And then search on the taskbar also gets a couple of changes and improvements. Where first of all, Microsoft says when showing search results, we will provide a notice that your search results may be incomplete. If Windows is still indexing your PC with a link to check your indexing status, you can dismiss this notice, which I think it's nice when we get options. And over and above that, Microsoft says it's also providing a status for files and folders on your PC so you can easily see if a file or folder is available when online or available on your device, available when online and obviously if it's available locally, which I also think is quite nice. And then widgets is also getting some attention from Microsoft in this build, where Microsoft says it's trying out a new visual experience for the widgets board with a more organized, personalized, and engaging feed. In addition, it's also introducing Copilot curated stories. So as you can see, curated by Copilot into the feed. So even Microsoft has found so Microsoft is even pushing Copilot into the news feed, which I think is interesting. Microsoft says these make it easy to get a multifaceted view on a single topic, connecting summaries, videos, and images. And just on a side note, Microsoft says that some features such as pinning and hiding are still under development with this new Copilot curated stories. But the good news is if obviously you don't want Copilot on your widgets board, Microsoft says you can choose to return to the previous widgets board experience by changing the Copilot Discover, which is still in preview, obviously, toggle in the personalization MSN settings dialog. Always nice when we get options, so that's a nice touch. And then I'm just going to mention the next one, where Microsoft says it's introducing user interaction aware CPU power management. Now more specifically what this is all about is it's an OS level change that aims to reduce power consumption, Microsoft says, and improve battery life, where Windows can detect user interactivity and apply various power management policies to ensure it uses as little power as possible when idling. And then once you return back to your PC, Windows will be able to get everything back up and running again as per normal. So that's user interaction aware CPU power management, and that's going to be an interesting one to watch. And then the last new change and improvement just to mention for the purpose of this video is once again with Windows Share, Microsoft giving Windows Share a lot of attention in preview and also the stable version. And I actually think this is a nice touch. In the Windows Share window, Microsoft says, as part of the ability to quickly edit and enhance images while sharing, it has adjusted the UI so that you can now select the different compression scale from high, medium, or low quality instead of choosing from an entire scale ranging from 0 to 100. And I think that's a nice little touch um, if you are obviously sharing a lot of images as an example. And then over and above those new features and new changes and improvements, we've got some fixes rolling out for the Dev Channel. And then because it's still early preview, there is quite a long list of known issues which is expected um, in preview. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.